after understanding the particular integral of the second order differential equation and numerically solving it it is now pertinent to come to the complementary function which is the deviation from the equilibrium we know that it is represented with the help of yc and if we talk about the general solution it contains arbitrary constants so yt is used to represent the time path and yc provides the deviation from the time path from the equilibrium value in the time path so this is time path this is the equilibrium value and this is the deviation from the equilibrium so now let us try to develop the um, complementary function in this case but before we go there we must remind ourselves that yc is basically the deviation from the equilibrium and if it disappears over time it means that we are converging towards the equilibrium and the deviation is approaching to zero so in order to develop its uh, function its uh, expression we are going to use uh, the exponential expression that we have used before in the complementary function for the first order differential equations uh, you remember that this was the uh, complementary function for the first order differential equation now we can experiment with the uh, same uh, term in this case and we can see if it works as the solution in this case so if we consider that this is the value that is the if this is the solution and at the same time we assume that a is equal to 1 then the expression will be simplified and we will get rid of this capital A now if we take uh, its first derivative and then if we take its second derivative we will get these expressions you can calculate these derivatives easily and assuming that if we use this as the solution we take its derivative it becomes 2t and then we take its derivative it becomes 2 only so we can uh, consider both of these possibilities and then we can compare them now we are recalling the second order differential equation which is this in its standard form in its homogeneous case we are using the homogeneous case so that we don't have to be overburdened by extra parameters that is b so b is basically used in the uh, particular integral when we find out the uh, you know equilibrium value b is used but here uh, using homogeneous case uh, will keep the situation simple and b will not be required so if i put these values that is this set of values and that set of values in this standard form it will become this and it will become that this is the first possibility that y double bar t is substituted here then y bar t and then y all these values are substituted here we on the right hand side we know that y t was t square so it is substituted here 2t was y bar t and y double bar t was 2 so we have substituted these values as well so now uh, we we can try to make sense of it so let's see that if this equality holds because if we take e exponent rt as a common factor the answer will reduce to zero here you can see that that if i take e r exponent of rt uh, then this uh, answer will be reduced to zero that is the left hand side uh, this of course will happen with the help of certain values of um, r a1 and a2 however if you look at this side that is the right hand side the left hand side will uh, cannot be equal to zero because there are two different functions linear 2t and quadratic t square here values of a1 and a2 can not help in reducing the right hand side to zero because if we take t common then it will be 2 plus a1 
टू प्लस ए टू टी सो टी विल बी लेफ्ट हेयर इन इन द ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इवन इफ वी शिफ्ट दिस टू द राइट हैंड साइड एंड इट रिड्यूस टू जीरो वेयर एज इफ वी कंसिडर एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ आर टी एज अ कॉमन फैक्टर आर स्क्र प्लस ए वन इंटू आर प्लस ए टू दिस विल बी द फाइनल रिजल्ट एंड हेयर इट कैन रिड्यूस टू जीरो बिकॉज दिस विल गो टू द राइट हैंड साइड एंड रिड्यूस टू जीरो एंड फॉर सर्टन वैल्यूज ऑफ आर ए वन ए टू दिस आंसर कैन बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो हेयर द रूट इज नॉट वर्किंग सो वी हैव टू ड्रॉप दिस पॉसिबिलिटी एंड वी कैन चूज दिस पॉसिबिलिटी दैट इज द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो चूजिंग दिस एंड देन इट्स डेरेवेटिव कैन बी यूज बिकॉज इट्स द सेकेंड ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेजन द सेकेंड ऑर्डर डेरेवेटिव इज ऑल्सो यूज नाउ वी पुट दीज वैल्यूज हेयर द वैल्यू सब्सिट्यूटेड ऑफ वाई बार बार टी एंड दिस इज वाई बार टी दिस इज वाई टी नाउ वी टेक ए एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ आर टी एज कॉमन एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विद दिस इक्वेजन now this equation doesn't have any derivative so it is easy to solve and it is basically a quadratic equation that we can solve using the quadratic formula but before that we can see that instead of x we have r instead of a we have 1 the value of b is a1 and value of c is a2 so let's apply this quadratic formula and when we do that we get this expression and this can appear once with a plus and then with a minus and that is why we get two roots of the quadratic equation that is r1 and r2 the two relations uh, relationships to verify the roots are these that is r1 and r2 relationship one sum of the two roots equate to minus a1 now this is a good formula that can help us to verify if the roots that we have found are correct because when we take the sum of the roots it should equal negative of a1 here this these steps are performed and you can pause the video and see the answer will be equal to the negative of a1 then we have a relationship to product of the two roots equal a2 r1 and r2 when they get multiplied we get this thing that is these terms and the answer would be a2 so again you can pause the video and do this simple calculation however the thing to remember at this stage is that the sum and the product of these terms would be equal to minus a1 and a2 respectively and this can be used to verify if the roots are correct that is a r1 and r2 so here you can use the numerical examples that we have uh, solved for particular integral yp and you can see that the sum of the roots would be equal to minus a1 and the product of the roots would be equal to a2 and this can be a good exercise for you to verify that how we can check if the roots are correct at this stage we have learnt about the complementary function and in the next video we will learn that what are various cases of the complementary function of the second order differential equation thank you